What's up, guys? This is Lego Detective, and anyone who's seen my origami comic strip, um, issue number three, um, in the end, I kind of teased this guy, Battle Damage Malgus, which can also be just a regular Malgus instead if you don't do the Battle Damage phase. If you want to do the regular Malgus, look at one of my other comic, um, reviews, um, like the comics, not how to fold the guys from the comic, but how to, but just the comics themselves, um, issue one and two shows the regular Malgus, and also in issue three, you see a little bit of, um, regular Malgus. This is battle damaged, and he's using an arm to lift the force, to use the force. There we go, there's his arm, you can see that arm right there. Alright, so, I couldn't find any clean Oregon paper, so I'm just gonna use this, it's a little wrinkly, but it will get the job done. So, we're gonna start by folding up like this. And whatever um, color side of paper that's going to be his head, whatever color or paper that's going to be his head, start on that side. So I'm going to have his head be white um, and his robe be beige, even though it should be, like, black. But um, if you're using two-sided paper, that's, like, two colors on both sides instead of white on one and then a different color on the other. Um, start on whichever side is going to be his head. Right, then flip it over and fold it into thirds. Anyone who's who's um, read the R two D 2s got to folding and doodling will be similar to this. This is a doodle gami puppet. Basically, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna, if you want to, you can push this out and flatten it, so then it kind of gives him a kind of shoulderish effect. If you want to kind of make him have shoulders. So when you flip it over, it should look like this. You don't need to do that, but it's just optional. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take this point, and you're going to only take the gray, the beige part, and fold it out almost completely. See how it didn't fold out completely? See? And then, put your finger in this triangle so it gets all flat, and then squash it down. Like that. You don't need to do the arms, and you don't need to do the shoulders, but it's just for a little bit of extra fun. So then when you look on the other side, you have this. Um, if there's a point, like, let's say when you did it, it looked something like this. Just tuck the point away, but if you get a kind of square effect, where there's no actual, like, triangle point, unless it's like a point there, which doesn't really matter, then it's actually good. So now that you have this, um, this is actually how I did it in the comics. The comics took me two or three days to make all the comics, which is six, six issues. So, whenever I drew a battle damage Malgus, I wanted to look really battle damage. I, I didn't want to get this guy perfect, because I wanted him to look all messed up and stuff. So this is how I did it. You make a line, and then bring it to there. So we have this. Make make a little scribble there. Another one. Then make a little bit of a zigzag here. Two lines. Another line in a frown shape. This is how to make a nose. And what I did is most of the time I made it coming out from the eye. Like that. And then here's the fun part. So, I accidentally made his scar go onto his body, which I'm going to erase that. Whatever. Now, here's the fun part. Um, anyone who has R2's guide will know that Tom wrote that when you're drawing Chewbacca, you want to just do it as fast as possible. Same thing here. This is what you do. One, like... Like, you can hit the replay button as many times as you want. Just a bunch of scribbles so it kind of sags. Like, a bunch of scribbles. Imagine if you're drawing, like, a scribbly circle thingy, but it's only half of it. So, it's like... On some icon, in maybe even drawing it twice or three times make it makes it look even cooler. Then, one more thing. Um, we do one on the top. In my thing, 
after the general, which um, I did instructions instructions for him, he uh, he shoots him. Um, what I just had is he has two scars there. He's got a little generally in general, it's kind of ovalish triangle circle like round triangle oval kind of thing scribbly you can do it as many times as you want and just to give a recap cap, cap this is how fast i can draw him so i can draw him really fast i just drew a face on the back of that one didn't come out that well but um that's how fast I can draw. That took about a few seconds. So, yeah. I hope you like how to draw Battle Diamonds Valgus and how to especially doodling on it. My favorite part is obviously the doodling because it's really fun, especially when you're drawing something like this, which is just so messed up. So you want to, like, you, you'd you want to mess this up. You don't need to make this perfect. You can make it, you can change it a bit. Um, you could add a bunch of extra scars. You could draw some dots on his face as if he's like even more scratches. You can do whatever you want with this because um, as long as he looks he looks battle damaged, I'm good with that. Uh -huh. So yeah, I hope you like how to fold battle damage, Malgus. May the force be with you. Bye.